new and exciting way of learning with the world at your fingertips? Let's take a look at how the IBM ThinkPad can help. Hi, I'm Nick Lefebvre. Now here at NMU we have what's called the TLC. That's a Teaching, Learning, and Communications Initiative. This initiative provides you with a leased laptop computer for your use during your college career and helps provide technological skills for your life after Northern. The laptop you've been issued is called an IBM ThinkPad computer operating with Microsoft Windows 98. Your leased laptop uses the latest software for checking and sending email, keeping up with homework assignments and tests, typing up papers, or even creating spreadsheets, graphs, and presentations. Better yet, the World Wide Web is right at your fingertips. Okay, now that you've seen what the ThinkPad has to offer, let's get started. As part of the lease agreement, you will receive the ThinkPad, a power supply, an external floppy drive, a restore CD, a network cable, a telephone cable, a user's reference manual, a reference card, a quick reference sheet, and a battery. Also, make sure you know your NMU ID and password. To insert the battery, remove any wrapping and then turn the ThinkPad upside down. Release the battery lock by pressing it back. Insert the battery with the label facing down. Now secure the battery lock by pushing it forward. Begin charging the battery by connecting the power supply. First, plug this end into the yellow jack on the back of your computer. And plug the other end into a grounded outlet. The laptop battery, once fully charged, will run the ThinkPad for two hours. It's recommended that you drain the battery of its charge the first three times that you use it. This simply means using the battery until the ThinkPad shuts itself off, then plugging it into an outlet to recharge itself. And it's also important to note that the battery is still recharging even while you're operating the ThinkPad using its power supply. Now to open the ThinkPad, slide the two latches on the front of it to the outside. The ThinkPad model leased to you is the 1300i NMU with an Intel processor. Some of the features on the 1300i NMU include a color LCD screen with an active matrix. Also, if you've noticed, there is not a mouse, but instead a track point system with left and right click buttons located below the space bar. The middle click button can be used to enable scrolling. However, there is a place to plug in an external mouse if you choose to do so. The laptop has a 1 8 inch or mini microphone jack for connecting a stereo microphone. There are two front speakers that provide stereo audio and for privacy, a headphone jack located on the back of the computer. But first things first, it's time to power up your laptop. With the power supply connected, turn on your laptop by pressing the power switch located on the keyboard and wait about 90 seconds while the computer completes the power up sequence. The next step is to load the NMU image. You'll be doing this by using the restore CD which is included in the ThinkPad packet. Here to show us how to do this is Northern Michigan University instructional technologist Kathy Seville. The CD-ROM contains all the software packages that you'll be using on the laptop, including the operating system. To load it into the computer, you first open the CD-ROM drive, which is located on the right side of the computer. On your screen is the window, Enter Network Password. Open the CD-ROM drive and press the NMU Restore CD onto the spindle until you hear it click. Close the CD tray. Press the keys, Control, Alt, and Delete all at the same time. The screen closed program will appear. Left click on Shutdown. Start the computer again by pressing the power button. When the NMU ThinkPad 1300 software image version F2000 screen appears, press the 1 key, then press Enter. You are now imaging the computer and installing the software. This will take approximately 12 minutes. Once the imaging process is complete, remove the CD, then again press Control, Alt, and Delete, all at the same time. Computer will restart and a new screen will appear. If you get an error 38 message, left click OK. The screen Enter Network Password will open, left click Cancel. This process only needs to be performed once, but do hang on to the CD just in case you ever need to reload the software in the future. The software is now loaded. Now the Restore CD is custom designed for the 1300i NMU and isn't to be used on other computers. To do so is a violation of the lease agreement and could damage another computer. 
Now that the software is loaded, you need to register the laptop. For this process, you'll need to plug in the blue cable included in your ThinkPad packet into one of the several orange network jacks located on campus. The other end plugs into the ThinkPad here. Left click the blue E icon on the laptop screen. The NMU Academic Computing homepage will pop up. Change the address listed at the top of the screen to register.nmu.edu. The screen will tell you that the laptop is not registered. Left click the register button. You'll need to type in your NMU ID, which is the first part of your email address, excluding the at sign and the nmu.ed part. Then press the tab key and type in your NMU password. Left click the OK button and there, the ThinkPad is registered. Now, NMU maintains over 10,000 network connections providing portals to the internet. These ethernet connections are located in classrooms, residence halls, and in public areas. If you're wondering how to access Northern's network from off campus, the ThinkPad's built-in modem makes it easy. To dial in, plug one end of the telephone cable into the modem located on the back of the laptop and the other end into a working telephone outlet. Initiate the dial-in with a double click on the NMU dial-in icon. A message will pop up listing your email ID and the telephone number to dial. All you have to do is enter your NMU password. Once you've entered your password, left click OK and wait for the computer to dial into Northern. Don't be alarmed by the strange noises. What you're hearing is the ThinkPad actually making a phone call to Northern's network. Once connected, internet and email services are accessible just as if you were on campus. You might want to first check NMU's ThinkPad website at thinkpad.nmu.edu. This site includes information about software, printing, the desktop icons, updating antivirus software, and much more. You'll also find other useful website addresses listed on the reference card. When you're finished, simply double left click the NMU dial in icon again and left click the disconnect button to hang up. Remember, dialing into NMU's network from the local market area is a free call. For more information on dialing into NMU from outside the calling area, go to www.acs.nmu.edu slash connect3.htm. In addition to these network connections, the ThinkPad features USB ports on the side and rear of the laptop for use with the external floppy disk drive. Need to connect an external monitor or an LCD projector? Use the VGA port on the back of the computer. If you have questions or need help with ThinkPad after viewing this videotape, contact the NMU Help Desk. And if your laptop breaks, the micro repair staff fixes and maintains laptops right here on campus. Both the Help Desk and Micro Repair are located on the first floor of the Learning Resources Center. You can email them, telephone, or just stop by. And if you need laptop accessories, NMU's bookstore, located in the University Center, carries a wide variety of computer supplies. Everything from backpacks and carrying cases to printers and software. Now, you might be asking yourself by now, how durable is the ThinkPad? Well, like most any other electronic device, it's made to be used, but not abused. Under the laptop lease agreement, you have to pay for the first $500 in repairs for anything beyond normal wear and tear. So here are a few tips to help keep your laptop away from the repair bench. Since the LCD screen is the laptop's most expensive component, never clean it with detergents or wet cloth. Wipe gently with a dry, soft cloth instead. Also, don't set any heavy items such as textbooks on top of the ThinkPad or the TrackPoint mouse will make an indentation on the screen that can't be removed. Don't eat or drink over the laptop, attach magnets to the ThinkPad, or leave the laptop unattended in a public area or classroom. In addition, ThinkPads are sensitive to extreme temperatures, so don't leave the computer in your vehicle for extended periods when the mercury drops below zero. Another point, computers and water are a bad combination. So avoid baths or showers while trying to finish that last minute assignment. Pretty common sense do's and don'ts, but important information to remember. So, keep in mind that you can contact the help desk at 227-2468 if you have any questions concerning the ThinkPad, or if you'd like to view this tape again, it is available for loan from both the library and the residence halls. Well, Good luck with your NMU adventure and enjoy the ThinkPad.